provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but it is much faster and it improves on its capabilities across text, vision and audio. For the past couple of years, we've been very focused on improving the intelligence of these models and they've gotten pretty good. But this is the first time that we are really making a huge step forward when it comes to the ease of use. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. <laughs> go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in <laughs> for a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm gonna breathe in deeply. And then, and then for four, and then exhale slowly. Okay, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. The model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of running a little bit too fast. So, you know, it really has that capability across the board to perceive your emotion. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with X on one side, and it looks like 3X equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for X? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3X, and you want to find the value of X. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3 and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it and x equals 1. Nicely done. How do you feel about solving linear equations now? Okay, ChatGPT, I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one-sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. Fantastic. I have another question for you. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees and 30 degrees, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. What's going on with the y-axis? Is this in Celsius or Fahrenheit? The y-axis is in Celsius. The temperatures are labeled accordingly, such as average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci, come risolviamo le equazioni limiari? 
Sicuramente, sì. <laughs> Certainly, yes. <laughs> Great. It looks like it works. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yeah, I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's do. Let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started. Or whatever. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.